Salutations, I am the Executioner, and today we're going to talk about the history behind minimum wage in the United States. With recent demands among progressives in unions to raise the wage, we see an ignorance behind the history of this policy. Minimum wage in the United States dates back to the Progressive Era, a period from around the 1890s to around the early 1930s. Many figures of the Progressive Era include Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, Irving Fisher, and many others. One common similarity in the movements is its affiliation with eugenics. The progressive movement was rife with eugenicists. Irving Fisher, for example, in many of his writings proposed a minimum wage to keep, as he put it, undesirables out of the workplace. The idea was that minorities and mentally disabled people worked at a far lower rate compared to whites. If one could disincentivize employers from hiring these people, the white worker could be secure in their employment as they wouldn't have to compete with the undesirables. One brilliant article explaining the history and logic behind the policy is Thomas C. Leonard's Eugenics and Economics in the Progressive Era and the Foundation for Economic Education's seven quotes that revealed the racist origin of minimum wage. To quote from Foundation of Economic Education's article, Henry Rogers Seeger of Columbia University once said, The operation of the minimum wage requirement would merely extend the definition of defectives to embrace all individuals who even after having received special training remain incapable of adequate self-support. If we are to maintain a race that is to be made up of capable, efficient, and independent individuals and family groups, we must courageously cut off the lines of heredity to have been proved to be undesirable by isolation or sterilization. Arthur Hollicum of Harvard described Australia's minimum wage policy as, quote, The minimum wage policy protects the white Australian standard of living from the indivious competition of the colored races, particularly the Chinese. A third quote, and this is one of my favorites, is from the New Republic's 1916 article, which said, Imbecility breeds imbecility, as certain as white hens breed white chickens. Under laissez-faire, imbecility is given full chance to breed, and does so in fact at a rate far superior to that of able stocks. F.W. Tussock's in Principles of Economics Volume 1 said, How do we deal with the unemployable? We must stomp them out. We have not reached the stage where we can proceed to chloroform them once and for all, but at least they can be segregated, shut up in refuges and asylums, and prevented from propagating their kind. Yes, you heard that right. Segregated and shut up in refuges and asylums. The unemployable, as he mentions, are the mentally handicapped, blacks, women, and other minorities. The fact is, as formulated, early theory focused on the intentional unemployment of minorities. Why? They knew if you added more barriers to employment, you could, in fact, kill off undesirables, as they put it preventing them from earning a living, and preventing them from providing for their families, they would starve off and eventually die. Today we hear the opposite, that we need to raise the minimum wage to promote growth for minorities. However, the rhetoric does not change the result. You reduce the amount of hours by raising a wage. Thus, you'd be earning an identical paycheck to before the raise. Firms would have to cut back on hours and lay off excess employees. It's the same effect as the early progressives, just a different song and dance. 
Minimum wage, in short, is a policy with racist origins and is a destructive force that destroys more than it creates. For more content on the minimum wage, I suggest Fedor C. Leonard's Progressives in Eugenics, Shane Killian's Minimum Wage Playlist, FEE, and Murray Rothbard's book on the Progressive Era. Murray Rothbard's The Progressive Era. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful week ahead. Click the bell for any notifications if you are subscribed already. And remember, stay free.